This is an emergency reading for my light workers that have a big purpose. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you have psychic knowing and you know that something big is about to unfold. You know that it's either a miracle, big blessings, a big breakthrough, a big transformation. I feel like this is an emergency reading for my light workers, for those that are chosen, for those that are star messengers, whoever I'm speaking to, you know you have a big purpose. And most of the people that resonate with my channel have a big purpose. And you're really aware right now that you have to pay attention and that you know something big is coming. And because of that, you're like a little bit on edge. And I can feel like you're trying really hard not to be. Like nothing bad is happening, but you feel like if you're not careful, things can go bad very quickly because of certain changes that you're making. So I feel like you guys have had big blessings coming in but you guys also have a lot of scary big changes unfolding. So these big blessings are coming with big changes and it's making you a little bit anxious and you are tapping into your psychic knowing, your inner, in, whoop, your inner individuality, how you express yourself creative, creatively. Oh my gosh, Mercury is in full effect. And you're trying to follow your intuition, but you're making like small little hiccups or mistakes along the way. And it could be freaking you out a little bit. So you're trying to like get a hold of any little mishaps. You're trying not to drown your sorrows in any little mishaps, if that makes sense. And so you're really trying to pay attention to things more than you ever have. Your intuition is really important. Owl energy is very important, you guys. So drop your owls down below. You guys could feel like really fulfilled when you're tapping into your purpose, tapping into what you do for the collective, but you're learning boundaries right now. You're learning how to close old paradigms, old negative self-talk. And that's something you guys are really focusing on right now is how you talk to yourself because you really want to nurture or nourish your inner individuality and uniqueness. You guys are going through a huge breakthrough or transformation and it's causing you to feel very independent and original, but like you're a little uneasy at the same time. You guys are feeling like you don't necessarily have to commit to things the way maybe you thought you did. Okay, so you guys are looking at different ways you guys commit to different things you're doing. And you're learning how to like tweak different things that you start. So you're learning how to look at hiccups and mishaps differently. So say something starts going left, something that you planned, you're learning how to slow it down and regroup instead of have a meltdown because things right now might not be unfolding your way but you're trying your best to handle it with grace class and it's you're just trying really hard not to be stressed out not to have a meltdown okay i feel that heavily you are paying very very close attention to your psychic knowing and your clear audience and your clear sentient because people might there might be some a couple, not a lot, but I feel like there's a couple insecure people around you that are saying a little like out of pocket things. And maybe normally you would respond. I don't feel like you're going to be, but you're learning how to not let it bother you. Okay, people are saying out of pocket things. I don't feel like it's a lot of people. I feel like it's a couple people, but it's bringing you back to this Cinderella. Okay, it's bringing you back to how you were raised. It's bringing you back to inner child healing. 
what your childhood was like. I feel like whoever this message is for, you guys have a lot of trauma in regards to your childhood. And it causes you to feel a certain type of way about intimacy. So you're starting to like really focus and pay attention on that or pay attention to that because you're seeing how it's affecting different partnerships. You're seeing how it's affecting shared assets. You're seeing how it's affecting your money. Because of being not wanting to be intimate because there's certain trauma you're trying to let go of and you're trying to heal. So part of healing this trauma, this might help someone and this is something that I heard today and it's and it really put things in perspective. When we're trying to forgive others, okay, let's say you guys have a parent that is you're, you're zero contact with, you don't talk to them because they're abusive in some way. It's not necessarily blaming them like, oh, I forgive them for ba da 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 okay, or whatever. It's having compassion towards them because you know that they were abused and they basically did the best that they can or could. And letting go of placing the blame or pointing the finger at them. Because a lot of us do that naturally. Like, I'm trying to forgive that person for what they did to me. And we have to look at it differently. Like, I have compassion. May they find their blessings elsewhere. I'm going to let go. I'm going to release because they don't, they don't know any better. They weren't raised any better. They were raised worse. And unfortunately, what they did to me was the best that they could do. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, that's what it's giving. Because if you guys go down that rabbit hole, it will have you doubting your magic. It will have you doubting your abilities. So you guys might be thinking about going to counseling, going to therapy, going to a Reiki healer. There's like, you guys are getting really serious about your approach with your healing journey. If it's inner child healing, if it's things going on in your eighth house, if you're a Scorpio, there are things that you are trying to regenerate with your intimacy, your partnerships. And so you guys are paying attention to this right now. You guys could be a tarot reader. You guys could be a Reiki healer. You guys are a spiritual teacher of some kind, whether you call yourself that or not. But what I'm getting is you guys are desiring like-minded people. You are desiring a social life. You are desiring friends and hobbies and different things. Your soul tribe. But at the same time, you guys are realizing that you're not trusting. You don't trust people. And this is because of what happened to you earlier in life. So sometimes when things go awry, you handle things a certain way. Or when you people get close to you, you handle things a certain way. And so this is us learning to trust and us learning to be vulnerable no matter what. And that's hard, you guys. It's not. It's easier said than done. I'm not even going to pretend like it's easy. It's not easy. Because it's putting ourselves out there and doing it in a way that's not like, oh, today I'm going to be vulnerable. It's like, no. If I'm trying to meet like-minded people, I kind of have to put myself out there and start trusting people. So we're realizing where our trust lies, how we don't trust, how it's hard for us, how we have intimacy issues. And so you guys are learning how to follow your intuition. You're paying attention to it instead of like brushing it under the rug. You're really wanting to bloom. You're really wanting things to shift in this area. And you guys have a lot of blessings coming in because you're trying to fix this. You guys could be feeling really restless, very anxious. I got really sad when I was tapping into this energy because it feels like when something goes wrong and something that like you meticulously planned, say it's like 
a wedding day, an important event, and there's one thing that you did wrong, that you compulsively did last minute, that you planned, that you thought was going to just like make things go smoother, and it somehow went awry and threw a wrench in your plan, and you can either magnify it or amplify it, or you can choose to go a different direction, which is I'm going to look at this and figure out a better way to heal this issue. You guys have incredible manifesting ability right now. So you're learning that you have to be very, very, very careful, very careful with how you bring things in right now, because you could be thinking negatively or you could be thinking positively and things could snowball very quickly. So you're learning how to hone something in because we have heaven ask you heaven ask and you shall receive. Then we have big blessings. We have great fortune and we have the tooth fairy. If you are asking for good, you are going to get good over and over and over again, despite the hiccup that's unfolding. Little things could be setting you off or triggering you right now like, dang, well, I thought I healed from this. I thought I was doing better with this. And what I'm getting is you guys are learning to be vulnerable with yourself. You are learning to be really honest with yourself. And then in turn, you guys desiring to bring in your soul tribe to call in a soulmate, you will be able to also be vulnerable with them. This is how you're going to attract like-minded people if we are not trusting right if we are not trusting and we are not vulnerable what are we going to attract we're probably going to attract insecure people or people from our past people that remind us of our trauma or old narratives so we are learning to be vulnerable with ourselves what do we want to heal what do we want to work on do we like how we speak to ourselves? What do we want to regenerate? What do we want to change? Where are we coming across stumbling blocks or opposition? Where are we still being compulsive? Where are we still being stubborn? Let's get out some Zodiac messages for you guys. You guys could be a Pisces. I'm seeing that you guys are feeling a lot. You're dreaming a lot. And you are desiring a lot. You are desiring a better life. You are desiring like-minded people. You are desiring a better reputation, a better work environment. And spirit wants to remind you, you have a fighting spirit. They don't want you to forget. Spirit does not want you to forget that you are a hero. You are confident. You are fearless. You are a messenger. You know how to persevere. You are a champion for your cause. So comment down below. I am confident. I am heroic. I am a messenger. I am fearless. Period. You guys could be a Leo. I'm getting heavy Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. But you guys don't have to be. Yeah, you guys are feeling like you're in a slingshot. Little things are going wrong and it's showing you little areas, not little areas actually, big areas that need a little bit more attention. You guys are feeling small amounts of attention in different areas of your life. This could be in your second house, your 10th house, or your 11th house. Let me know in the comments. I cuz I when I was channeling this energy, I felt a lot of anxiety. I felt like pressure to launch. Pressure to perform. Pressure to do good. You guys could be in Aries. You guys could be seeing 555, 1111, or 111. If you are, this message is definitely for you. Spirit wants you to know that your energy, the things that you are bringing in, your words are powerful. They are strong. They can easily make you feel like the hero or make you feel powerless. Call back your power now and look at what you want to fix. It does not need to be fixed overnight and you are feeling like it has to be. 
Okay, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, like I just figured out that I'm doing this this way and that this is why this has been happening like this and now I got to fix it, I got to fix it, I got to fix it. Be easy on yourself. You guys, this, this, this message made me so emotional because you guys are lucky. You are prosperous. You are resourceful. You are a great catch. But your moods can easily shift. So you guys can have like your son in the 12th house or it has something to do with your birth chart. So I would definitely be looking at that because I feel like you guys are, are hard on yourself at this time. And you feel like, oh, it's too late. Everything's set in motion. And it's not too late. It's not too late. You guys, trust me. This week has been um, not the easiest week for me with trying to figure out how to deal with small setbacks and thinking like it's the end of the world. And I'm like, what am I doing? It's not the end of the world. I can fix this. But you guys have people in your ear making you feel like, oh, that's really permanent. You can't fix that. Oh, you already said what you said when you said it. You can't fix it. And it's like, no, you can fix it. You can fix it by being vulnerable. You can fix it by honoring your truth. You can fix by prayer, by manifestation, with courage. And people want you to feel powerless, helpless, paralyzed by decisions that you made, big or small. Fuck all that shit. Fuck them for trying to make you feel that way. And we have the mother load. There are people that want you to retire. Your shadow, your ego wants you to retire. They're not ready for all of all of these blessings. They need a job code still. They feel like you're going to be putting them out of commission. Your ego is growing weary and tired and exhausted. Because if you really tap into your source, your infinite abundance, your higher self, the world is your oyster. And you guys, Scorpio, more Scorpio energy. You guys could be seeing 777. You guys could be a life path five, life path eight, life path one. Or life path, set, life path 7. Okay, so I'm getting life path 1, 5, 7, and 8. 8 very strongly and 1 very strongly. Yeah, you guys feel uncertain right now. Oh, I don't like this. This makes me sad. You guys, when I started getting this download, I wanted to just hug you guys. You feel like things are undetermined. They're not. Everything can change with the power of your thought. Everything can change. You feel like, oh, no, it's final. I, I can't change this. I can't alter it. Spirit wants you to slow down. Slow down, okay? You are not in a slingshot. Take your time. You don't have to figure out everything right now. Maybe you guys are looking at the transits and you're like, oh, Mercury doot to do's coming. I can't sign a contract. I can't buy a car. I can't, I can't move into this house. I can't do this. Slow down and be easy with yourself because you guys are putting an incredible amount of pressure on yourself. And it's time for a reset because this is not the end. This is the beginning. So you guys are used to dealing with people that abandon you, that turn their back on you. You're used to being in a web of control. And now that you're in control, like fully in control more than you've ever been, you're feeling a little uncertain. Like, oh, now I'm in control. So if I mess up, I ain't got nobody to blame it on but myself. So comment down below. I am confident. I am ready to launch. I can slow down anytime I see fit. I am resourceful. I am a great catch. You guys have a higher perspective coming in. 
You guys have so much prosperity coming in if you pay attention, if you ask for help, and if you continue to put yourself in a vulnerable state. It is okay to say to spirit, the divine, to God, I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. Oh, this makes me emotional. It is okay to say, I don't know what I'm doing. I need help. Give your worry, give your stress, give your sadness to the universe, to God, to the divine, to your ancestors. Because just because you make a mistake does not mean it is the end of the world. But I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like when you really set your heart on something or you really plan something out methodically, meticulously. And it goes left in the slightest way. And it feels like it's about to be life altering. You are about to have a huge breakthrough. Huge. You guys, I have felt like this all week. Channeling this energy. And it's been really hard. It's been really, really hard. Like trying to figure out. How to say some of these messages this week and how to channel them properly. I'm like being hard on myself about if I'm channeling them correctly. But I have to be vulnerable in the fact that I might not have it all figured out and I certainly don't. But I know either way, whoever this is for will not misunderstand the message. Okay? Whoever it is for will not misinterpret the message no matter how I say it. And that's what you guys are going to start realizing. You guys have people committed to misunderstanding you. I got tarot reader that was trying to pop out of my deck that I was using. So somebody here is a tarot reader and you guys have people telling you that your messages don't make sense or your messages don't, that doesn't resonate with me or all of this resonates but this part and it does not matter. It is a distraction. Put it on the pay no mind list because whoever that is, they're committed to misunderstanding you. Comment down below, the devil is a liar. We don't have time for the Decepticons to the left. All the shady, shysty shit in a box to the left. And whoever really needs that message is going to honor your message. Is going to love your message. Is not going to misinterpret your message. So there are people that need to hear your message and don't get caught up in the people that don't receive it well. It's not meant for them. It is not meant for them if they if they choose to misinterpret something that doesn't even resonate with them. Do you know what I mean? So whoever this message is for, you guys have a big purpose. And I feel like those that have a big purpose or a big mission in life resonate with my channel. Because they're trying to figure out how to navigate that. They're trying to figure out how to heal different parts of their trauma, their inner child, their, their childhood, their inner child, their relationships. This is a great awakening, a great breakthrough. You can see the big picture, the law of one. Like you guys are paying attention like never before. And I feel like maybe that's why you're really freaked out. Because you're just seeing everything so clear that it's, you know, it feels like a spiritual awakening all over again where it's like everyone makes it look all cute, but it's really us sweating and shaking in a corner, freaking the, the F out. Like, oh my gosh, what is happening? I, don't, I no longer resonate with the things I used to resonate with anymore. And you could be getting scared because this is pivoting and changing day to day or hour to hour. Everything will be in unison soon enough. Spirit is saying, stay positive, stay focused. Everything will be in unison soon enough. Pay attention to what you're putting your sub in your subconscious, whether that is television, music, subliminals, tarot readers. Pay very close attention. Pay very close attention to who you're. Pay very close attention to who you're listening to at this time. 
It is important more than ever because you are so sensitive to other people's energy that you've got to like, you got to toss away the Decepticons and you have to really hone in on, on good things that you're listening to. So good subliminals, good messages, messages of positivity, messages that are eye-opening, that help you on your journey, your transformation. Because anything low vibrational, anything super confusing that leaves you with more anxiety than you had before you started watching it is going to make you feel confused all over again. And what you guys have been working on is bringing clarity and expediting that soon. That I'm also getting this sense of being like concerned on how people perceive you. Yeah. You guys are scared that as you are in, uh, these fell out together. Roadblocks with the pioneer. You feel like you are the pioneer. You know that you're a trendsetter. But every time you take two steps, you feel like there's a little roadblock that comes through and you're like, oh my gosh, what is this? Who is this? What is this? And it, it scares you a little bit. It shakes you up a little bit. So you feel like it's one step forward, two steps back. These are temporary setbacks to help keep you focused on what's important. And Spirit wants you to remember that this is a long journey. You're not, you're not trying to get there in one day. Do you know what I mean? You guys don't need to try to feel like you're trying to get there in one day. You have unflappable courage. We have Leo and Capricorn energy. You guys could be a Leo, a Capricorn. I'm just getting that. There's a lot of wrenches, hiccups, setbacks, temporary setbacks, but they feel like they're long-term setbacks. And you guys are... Some of you guys could be in a relationship and you're really not wanting your person to understand you. So you're really trying to figure out how to better communicate with them. Because, yeah, there is trauma you're trying to heal from your childhood that affects your relationships or is affecting your current relationship. And you're starting to realize this. You're like, oh my gosh, this is affecting my intimacy. This is affecting my eighth house. I feel like you guys are going to have a breakthrough in your eighth house. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to, you desire to have a breakthrough in your eighth house. You desire to have a breakthrough in your second house. You desire, like, these are areas of your life that you desire to mature in. You dream of maturing in. Because it's some things have caused you so much pain that you are so serious about your thought and your approach. You're really trying hard. You guys are deading being compulsive. If you guys are an Aries or a Leo and you're always like, I got to do, do, do. I got to rush, rush, rush. You are really putting that shit to bed. You're like, I, I can't. I've got to slow down. I got to look at things differently. I've got to stop being so hard on myself. Because I feel like when you guys feel like things are so final, like setbacks, roadblocks are so final, you feel like you're in despair. You feel like it's a final verdict. You feel like it's like the end of the world. And you're not realizing that all the loving thoughts that you could have towards yourself could, could literally shift all of that. This is like you asking God, asking the divine, thinking like, oh, they're going to say no. Oh, I'm going to be rejected. And you are not realizing, whoa, how much you are supported. So what fell on the ground is convertible and unchanged. There is so much that you guys can change still. Okay. There is so much that you guys can change. And then I'm getting that 
you guys are also going to start realizing that you have a lot of options. And you guys slowing down and not feeling like you're in this slingshot, like you're being launched or catapulted into things, like being catapulted into a pressure cooker, you guys are going to be realizing that you can do things how you want to do them. You're going to start following your instincts. Uh, maybe somebody in the past told you that you needed therapy and it really triggered you. It really made you upset and you felt like fighting them or battling them because it was something that you had not yet accepted. And I see that you guys are going to be finding a more, a more harmonious approach. Like, you know what? I don't like that about myself. and I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. Even if you're in a relationship, you're like, this is something I want to change. I know it's going to make things better, but it's going to help me heal. It's going to make me feel light as a feather. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah. You are ready to restore things that were once slow for you, things that you had slowed down. Maybe the passion or the intimacy or certain things or money slowed down. Because you started being more stubborn. Instead of saying yes or maybe, you started saying no more. And you guys are starting to break different chains in your life. You guys are really looking at different um, vices or habits that you have to protect yourself. So the ego has been trying to protect you. And we all know that the ego maybe doesn't do the best job. But we're really looking at like how we could protect ourselves better than letting the ego put all, uh, more burdens on us, more issues on us, more arguments, more setbacks. We have justice. The scales are going to be balanced. Stand in your authenticity. Carry your sword of truth. And justice will be at your side. Comment down below. I am the galactic truth serum. Justice is here. I honor my authenticity. I am releasing negative patterns. You're going to start following your core values, things that you want for yourself. We have the ten of cups. We have temperance. We have the Eight of Cups. You guys are going to stop avoiding different things that people have said to you to do. So what I feel like is you guys normally rebel and people are like, don't do that. You're like, uh, if people tell you to do something, you're like, I'm going to do it now. Especially if they're close to you and they've made you mad. Normally you would avoid what they asked you to do because you want to do it your way. And now you're seeing well, certain things you might need to do a better way. And there is a mother or father here that you're going to be trying to forgive or let go of, I should say, because there was nothing. Um, it could be a mental illness that they struggle from or this could run in the family. And you're realizing like they did what they did with the hand that they had. And as hard as that is to say, you know, like, you guys, this is how it was for me. My mom, I don't talk to her. And I am learning to forgive because I have to let go. I can't place blame. Oh, it's her fault. She did this to me. She did that to me. She did this to me. She did that to me. It's about she was abused, right? Except she was physically abused and mentally abused and verbally abused. And I could break it down and make her the villain. Or I could have compassion because she did, knowing how she was treated as a child is heartbreaking. And that's where you guys need to come from is compassion. Even though you might not be able to have this person in your life, learning not to blame them. Because it's their fault. It's this, it's that, it's whatever. Okay. 
Um, if you guys are really wanting to work on letting go of a narrative like that specifically, I highly recommend listening to Aaron Dowdy because he has that same type of narrative that he's trying to heal from. If you guys have a parent like me or Aaron um, where you're trying to heal and not blame them and it's something you really want to work on moving moving away from and and letting go, if you guys aren't already listening to him, I know a lot of people listen to Aaron. Um, he's amazing. So if that is a narrative that is replaying in your life, if that is something you really want to let go of, I highly recommend listening to his podcast or his YouTube channel. Because he has a lot of, um, him and Victor Odo, they have a, a lot of great information that is helpful to the collective. And they're very relatable. They're very relatable. Him and Victor are friends. And I mean, I don't know them personally, but um, they're, they're people that I've been watching since the beginning of my spiritual awakening. And it's like, Victor, I relate to because of addiction and getting my life together. And Aaron, I relate to because of the um, narrative with my mom being abusive and then having freedom and not knowing what to do with it. So I really relate to them in that way. You guys are going to be healing and restoring it and looking at it different. You're taking a different approach, different thought and different ap approach with how you're going to be doing that instead of feeling like you got to do this by yourself. Feeling like I, I got captured. It's not my fault. It's their fault. They did this to me. You guys are going to take control of the situation because you want to heal your, your family. You want to heal this family wound or whatever happened in your childhood. You're ready to heal that because you're seeing how it is affecting your relationships. Whoa. For those of you that are single, you're going to be meeting somebody that you have an instant connection with. And together, you guys are going to be an intuitive power couple. This is giving me Victor Odo and his wife vibes. I don't know why I'm channeling that, but I'm channeling them. Um, you guys are healing something. You're going to be vulnerable with yourself. You're going to put yourself out there. There's something you're going to stop avoiding. And it's things that happened to you in your childhood, you guys. I've, I'm right there with you. There are things that I'm like, I don't want to look at that. It really hurts me. It bothers me. And I'm trying to let go of it. And you're going to start cleansing and reassessing and reevaluating and giving yourself a chance instead of fighting yourself at every turn. And you're going to meet somebody that you have an instant connection with. And because you've been healing all of these other things, it's going to be amazing for you. So somebody here needs to hear that. There's somebody that's also going to be on their healing journey and you guys are going to meet and have an instant connection with. Or this could just be simply somebody that you have a soul connection with or is going to be a soulmate if you don't believe in twin flames, whatever you guys believe in. Okay, so let me get out. I feel like somebody... Um, I feel like double energy really doesn't want you guys to have this message. This is a huge breakthrough for you. Huge. Huge, huge. Evil eye and spell work at play. You guys are going to start realizing that this ain't shit. Evil eye has no effect on you. Spell work has no effect on you. You sense it. You know it's around. But, like for me, personally, I'm a protected child of God. That's how I look at it. And God don't play, and neither do I. And I don't give it the time of day. I'm not doubting my magic. I'm not empowering the ops. I'm not empowering the Decepticons. I'm not giving them my power. And even on my worst day, I am still a protected child of God. 
So God don't play with spell work. God don't play with evil eye. And so you guys are learning to walk away from drama. Because this drama is giving in to the evil eye. Oh my gosh, they sent me evil eye and that's why all this shit is unfolding. No, they sent me spell work. That's why all this shit is unfolding. No, we are not empowering them. We are not empowering them. No, no, no. Comment down below. I am royal. I'm stepping into my sovereignty. I am out of this world. I have a divine breakthrough. At work. There are people that I am meeting along my path that are helping me heal and helping me with my journey helping me with my level up helping me with my awakening we got the sword the truth is all that matters to you okay the truth about what you really want the truth about what you really desire and you guys have good luck coming in okay you guys have good luck blessings abundance and so your mindset is so important right now. Your mindset is very important right now. How you guys look at things, how you guys speak to yourself, it's more important now more than ever. Liberation, abundance, pleasure, worthiness. You guys are going to start tapping into pleasure. Because for some reason, this is hard to give to yourself. It is hard for you to tap into this because of things that we're trying to heal from our, our childhood. It is we're tapping into worthiness, pleasure, being liberated, abundance. An abundant mindset, a grateful mindset, an honest mindset. I'm so excited for you guys. So excited for you guys. There's so much coming in. You know, your psychic abilities are being amplified right now. You guys know. You guys know. This is like the biggest way you can give yourself self-love. The biggest. And you are worthy of that. You are worthy of that every day of the week. Five, five, five on the clock. That could be stressing you guys out. And spirit wants you to know miracles are unfolding. Yes, changes are unfolding. But for your betterment, you guys are healing and being activated. Because there's things that you desire. That you desire to change. That you desire to make peace with. That you desire to call in. Your alchemy. Anything else, Spirit? I want to say one of the anthems because I feel like you guys need to hear it. We vibrate high. High as heaven. We stay prayed up and we stay strapped in every sense of the word. Our destiny is ours by birthright. Don't start none. Won't be none. Okay? Okay. You guys are realizing how divine, how cosmic, how humble you are. You're going to start living out loud and living your truth. There's a part of you that you guys have been hiding. That's the one thing I'm getting the most. There is a part of you that you've been hiding. A part of you that you desire to be. And you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if people are going to accept this. I don't know if it's going to require me to live out loud. It's going to show people what I desire. You guys got this. You guys got this. You guys are worthy of living out loud. You are worthy of showing the world who you are. You are going to attract like-minded people that are like you, that are just like you. Especially as you 
are more and more vulnerable with yourself. And you're going to, you guys are going to be balancing out giving and receiving instead of over giving, instead of people pleasing. So this is another thing that you guys could be healing. You guys could be healing people pleasing instead of over giving, instead of under giving or whatever it is. You guys are really going to be working on that. We got three, two, one. You know what song I'm hearing? It's the final countdown. Three, two, one is your guys' angel number. You guys feel like there are ex these lessons are extreme. Okay, somebody here feels like, oh my gosh, these lessons are are very intense. You guys, it's because you guys are feeling things so deeply. And I just wish I could hug you guys. You're stepping into your purpose. You're realizing that you have one or you're realizing that you've been hiding a layer of yourself and people are either, either going to accept it or they're going to move to the left. The thing that is most important is that you accept it. That you accept this version of yourself. That you desire to be. That you want to be. So you can bloom. You are the sunflower. Drop your sunflowers down below. You are done planting seeds of doubt. You are now planting seeds of magic and you are a viral inspiration. Your sunshine is viral. People are always talking about you being an inspiration and you guys are like, how? I'm just a regular schmeg. You are not regular. You are not schmegular. You guys heal and activate by being yourself and people are enjoying this new wave of your self-discovery. You are inspiring others with your own self-discovery. And there's a lot that you guys are going to be purging to bring in more positivity. This is part of your destiny. And so I hope that this message helped you guys. And I'm sorry for crying, but it's just what I'm channeling. So I hope that this message helped you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to let me know what's going on down in the comments. I love reading your guys' confirmations. And what else? Oh, don't forget to drop your favorite affirmation, what you want to bring in for you or things that you're grateful for or if any of the houses or astrological signs related to you um, or resonate with you. And don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh. If you guys are looking for in-depth pick a cards for 11 11 a month, you guys can get four to five pick a cards from me in depth ad free. And that's another community over there that's more private. And you guys can, um, the link is in the description box if you guys are looking for more content that is pick a card style and for not a lot of month. So I love you guys so, so much. Um, every link is in the description box, Cash App, Patreon. Thank you guys for always loving and and showing me support and just love. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys know that. And just know that you guys are never alone. I will always be here. I'm sending you guys so much love. I'll see you guys in the comments or the next one. Bye, guys.